dumping feet. Yeah. They'll come in the cemetery after hours. Oh. And there's no gate, so they can drive on that yet. Vietnam, Purple Hot Winter, too. Oh, wow. Well, they get in the Purple Hot Winter. Because he born in 46, died in 67. That's when I was over there in Vietnam. Oh, wow. That's 21 years old. Yeah. Wonderful. The whole family is here. Oh, I was wondering if uh, the family visited the graves. Yeah. I'm sure they um, I think it was either his grandfather or a close member of the family come over here. He, he, I talked to him and he said, you know, he thanked me for uh, cleaning up the grave sites. Mm. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, I can see it's been kind of bad. expose the stone. You couldn't see that stone before. You see all the branches that cut off on the bottom of it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's beautiful here. Yeah, because uh, people a long time ago, whenever they, I guess, buried their family, they always put ornaments in trees, put rubs around it. But when they don't take care of it, it just grows wild. Yeah, I know I'll even. I'll show you a, a nice picture if you want a, a picture of a a stone right inside of a tree. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> the watermans, they've been around a very long time. They were one of the original uh, families in Cranston. Oh, okay. The same with the Dyers. The yeah. Dyers owned all this property at one time. And then when they sold it off, they sold half of it to where the St. Anne Cemetery is now. And they kept this half for the Catholic Cemetery. Oh, okay. Before it was a cemetery, it was a nursery. So that's Ooh. why you see all different trees in here. Oh, wow. There's not there's just one uh, tree, type of tree in here. There's, there's, I bet you there's 20 different trees in here. Oh, wow. And that's because it was a nursery, and a lot of the trees remained. Oh, wow. Probably fell over, over time, you know. It's, they've been tipped over quite a while. Oh, okay, it's probably like natural damage. Yeah. Or? Yeah. And these here, of course, the oldest type were the slate stones. Yeah. Wow. But everything back here, this, like I said, it's the old section. The dyers, uh, you find, I bet you there's a hundred dyers in here. Mm -hmm. I've seen uh, dyer genealogies. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, it's a beautiful stone on the ground. Mm -hmm. Of course, you know, the families when they die off. The base got swallowed up by the tree and it pushed the stone over. Oh, wow, yep. Wow. Oh, man's bottom. A lot of years for that. Yep. Nobody's watching. The trees grow. Samuel Sills. Uh, oh, it's superintendent. Oh, of the British Hosiery Thornton. Can you read that? I can't read it. Uh, at an angle, maybe. S I L L S. Samuel Sills, superintendent. And, and friends. In, love, in loving remembrance. Yeah, that's why I'm looking si on the side of our late. Superintendent and friend of Samuel, Samuel Shills. Yeah. Directed by the employees of the British Hosiery Company. Oh. Yep. Loving member Samuel Shills, and there's a date too, right there. Yeah, 1862 1906. Here, there's Sarah Jane Johnson. It says, Faithful to her friends. Not bitter to her enemies. Oh, I like that. <laughs> huh? Wow. Well, see, this, this is a trick. This mm -hmm. works on a lot of stones. See how that's coming right out? Yep. Yep. Wow. That's good to know. 
and it comes out. And you just wait a few seconds, and you can read everything. Not <laughs> better to her enemies. <laughs> yeah. Now I wonder who she's related to. There's Edwards behind and Booth, but huh? I wonder if she's a, a spinster woman. Woman. Could have been. You know, <laughs> every person in here is a puzzle. So it's, uh, all you have to do is just dig into their history and see see what they were doing when you know back in the 1900s. You know, mm -hmm. like when I I was telling Bell about the person I found down there. He was a balloonist. Now, how many balloonists do you know? <laughs> he was. Probably first in the aviation industry, you know, that went up in a balloon. Wow. But he's buried over here. Wow.